Weather outside is extremely hot. It's time you may want to buy your next Khas Atar. Let's talk about best Khas Atars in my collection. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Intellectual Sense. My name is Dev Jyot. Now today's video is not a top 10 video. I have structured this uh, video of uh, best khas others uh, into three segments. Uh, the first segment will be talking about facts on khas. Uh, second will be we will be talking about short overview of all the khas I have tried. What are their uniqueness and things like that. Uh, and the last I will give away three awards uh, to uh, what all the curse I have tried and the awards are best value for money curse, best unique curse and best overall curse. Now if you like this kind of content then uh, give me 200 likes and I will do something similar to Oud. Now curse is comparatively a much cheaper uh, oil to purchase uh, that's why I was uh, able to get so many of them. Uh, Oud will be it all together a different game but I will try my best. So get me 200 likes and we will talk about best uh, Oud uh, in Indian industry also. So let's start with 5 facts about Kus. So let's talk about 5 facts about Kus Atar. Now Kus is a co called oil of tranquility because it has a calming effect and we South Asians have been using Kus uh, uh, as a drinks, uh, we are even using it in food. Uh, we've been using it as an atta for a very long time. And some people even put khas into their uh, bath uh, because it's able to cool them down. So that's one of the fact about khas. Now the second fact about khas is that uh, khas is mainly distilled uh, in the region of uh, Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh is one of the cities in India. And there are two main uh, regions where it's uh, distilled. Uh, one is Kannuj and one is uh, Aligarh. And there are some part of South India also where the distillation of Khas which happens. Now the third fact about uh, Khas is that it's widely regarded that uh, uh, Aligarh Khas is quite superior uh, to the other parts. The distillation which happens around Aligarh. Uh, that cuss is comparatively better. That's kind of a widely regarded um, a market uh, interpretation of uh, cuss. Now, the fourth part is that cuss is quite cheap actually. Um, now, uh, like it's not expensive as oud. Uh, a cultivated cuss you can get uh, raw cuss I'm talking about, not the oil, the, 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 the cuss vetiver grass itself, uh, around 12 rupees a kilo. And also uh, the wild cultivated curse is around 35 to 40 rupees a kg. And the fifth fact about curse is that uh, the vetiver grass has got uh, kind of two parts to it. It has got upper part which is called lachha and the lower part which is called uh, jad, a root. So uh, cusk oil can be extracted from both the parts and there is slight difference in terms of uh, smell in it. So these are five facts about curse atars. Uh, now we will go over with uh, kind of overview of the curse which I have tried. Now before we start with the overview of all the curse which I have tried, uh, I want to kind of give a disclaimer or observation I will say. The observation is that I believe all the curse which I have tried, the natural curse, 80% of them are similar. But there is kind of a uniqueness which every distiller is able to put through. Uh, that uniqueness can be how fresh they are, how mossy they are, how rooty they are, how green they are. And that's the ingenious uh, of all these distillers in my opinion, that a simple grass, a vetiver grass, they were able to add their uniqueness to it. Now the first cuss which I tried was from Haasian Perfumer. And their cuss uh, is kind of, uh, kind of walking in farmer's field in the morning. The freshness of this cuss is quite evident. It's like a green grass actually. And this cuss lasts for around seven hours and the first two hours are quite fresh and then it takes over and it becomes quite earthy rooty like a standard cuss you will get. And this cost around 1200 rupees a tola. Now the second cuss which I tried was from a very famous house called ML Ram Narayan. Now this particular cuss is kind of fresh also, not as fresh as Haasian perfumer, but still very fresh. And uh, the good part of it is the dry down. The dry down is very uh, good. It kind of smells like a Western perfume actually. If you smell uh, Western vetivers like uh, Gourlian vetiver or Chanel vetiver, 
uh, sycamore. Uh, it kind of smells like that. Uh, it's very uh, balanced uh, and it lasts for about seven to eight hours. Uh, the only drawback is that this particular cuss you cannot buy individually. You have to buy is, buy it as a set. There are a set of around four to five uh, others which cost around 4,800 rupees. So this is the second uh, cuss I tried which was from ML Ram Narayan. Now the third cuss which I tried from the house of Hassan Oud. Uh, first of all the presentation is so brilliant. Uh, I absolutely love the presentation of this particular house. Now this particular cuss is very green and mossy it's not fresh it's like uh, extremely dark i will say uh, the analogy probably i can give to you is like it's walking in a jungle and that jungle uh, is not visited very often so it's quite quite wild i will say uh, it's kind of gives you that kind of feeling uh, this uh, cuss lasts for good seven to eight hours with good projection and this cost around two thousand rupees atola now the fourth curse which I tried was uh, from house of Muhammad Ayub Yaqub. Now this curse is quite similar to Hassan Wood's curse uh, and it's quite famous curse also. And this is also reminding me of a jungle but this jungle is quite uh, not as wild as the one which is from Hassan Wood. It's uh, like people walk through this jungle so it's not as wild. Uh, this lost also around 7 to 8 uh, hours and it cost around 1500 rupees a tola. The next curse which I tried was uh, from House of Sunriser Perfumers. Uh, they, are, they do their own distillation also. Uh, this curse is quite standard curse. The opening is quite oily, uh, but it settles down pretty well after one hour. Uh, this lasts also quite long, also around nine hours. Um, the dry down is pretty standard earthy, rooty, green uh, vetiver, which you get with most curse. Uh, the USP of this particular uh, curse is the price point. 700 rupees atola that's an amazing price point for this kind of quality of uh, kasata so this was the uh, cuss which i tried which is pretty good in my opinion the next cuss uh, is from ark enterprise uh, this cuss the more i have tried the less i have liked um, uh, it's a, it's a ligar cuss but this does not project at all uh, it quite, quite sits quite close to your skin and this uh, i have not enjoyed it uh, to be honest with you so this was uh, Cuss which did not work out for me. Uh, this cost around 3500 rupees a tola also. The next cuss on the list is from the house of Ibrahim Oud. Uh, this is their uh, new launch which they recently launched I think about a month back. Uh, the uniqueness of this particular cuss is that smoothness. It's quite smooth and rounded off which I absolutely enjoyed. Actually I was thinking they have mixed something with it and actually I called the uh, the owner of it and they said no this is totally a pure uh, cuss which we have used and I think this is a three year, three year old cuss also. Uh, this lasts around seven hours. Uh, the only issue which I see this with particular cuss is that uh, it costs 6000 rupees of tola. Uh, so other than that I absolutely enjoyed this cuss. Quite, you can wear this cuss on its own. Uh, so that's the USP of this particular cuss. So the next curse on the list is from the house of Ayub Atta. Now this curse uh, they claim is from year 2002. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the curse they have uh, utilized also in their famous perfume called Dhanal Ud Sultani. Uh, quite similar to it. The opening is not great of this particular curse. It's quite oily. But the dry down, it has got the best dry down in my opinion. Uh, this lasts for around good six to seven hours and uh, it costs around 1500 rupees a tola. The next curse on the list is from House of Banka Perfume. Now this particular curse is quite uh, rounded off curse in my opinion. There are no flaws which I see with this particular curse. Uh, it starts off pretty well. Uh, there is earthiness, there is uh, mossiness uh, to this particular it. It's quite tamed down. It's not uh, very sharp, I will say, like most of the curse can be. Uh, and this lasts around eight hours and this cost around about 3000 rupees a tola. Uh, absolutely an excellent curse in my opinion. Uh, so you can look to try from this particular house, Banka Perfume. So the next curse on this list is from House of Hidden Treasures. Now this particular curse, they are resellers so they don't distill their own curse. Uh, this curse is quite standard curse I will say. Um, this starts off pretty oily. Uh, that's uh, one of the pattern which I am seeing. Some of the curse have quite oiliness in the opening the first one hour of it and then it settles down pretty well with that standard 
uh, cuts which you smell, the earthiness, the rootiness which I have talked about. Uh, this lasts uh, close to 6 hours I will say and this cost around 1200 rupees a tola. So the last curse on this particular list is from House of Ajmal, their Rukhas A. Now this curse is quite a uh, standard curse I will say. Uh, this uh, starts off pretty well, there is no oiliness which I detect in this particular curse. Uh, it's pretty standard curse I will say which lasts for about good 6 to 7 hours. Uh, does the job in my opinion and the best part of it is the price point and the availability point of it. It's quite easily available and this cost around about 1250 rupees for a tola. So good option, good overall option in my opinion. So let's talk about the awards. The first award which I want to give is Best Value for Money Curse. Uh, now there are three nominees to it. Uh, one is Ayu Butter. Uh, which cost around 1500 rupees a tola and the uniqueness which I said was the dryness, uh, dry down of this, this particular cuss. The second nominee is House of Ajmal, their Rukhas, um, the costing around 1250 rupees a tola. And the last nominee is Sunriser Perfumer, 700 rupees a tola um, and which I said was quite overall a good uh, cuss. And my award goes to none other than Sunriser Perfumer. I believe the price point of 700 rupees uh, tola is a great uh, price point to try this curse. The people who are on budget, uh, they should look to try it because overall it's a pretty good curse. If you can get past the opening of it, um, I think it does the job. So the price point, uh, the, it provides the value in my opinion. So the first award goes to Sunriser Perfumers. So my next award is best unique cuss in my opinion now there are three nominees to it uh, first is hassan oud cuss the the mossiness which i was seeing in it the the jungle feeling which it was giving actually i was enjoying a lot the second nominee is ibrahim oud cuss uh, which they have uh, created and the smoothness it was providing it was not there in any of the cuss so i absolutely enjoyed it and the third one is from hasian perfumer uh, the freshness which they were providing in the opening was uh, quite brilliant in my opinion. So my award goes to Hastian perfumer Rohit. I absolutely believe uh, he, the way he has distilled his cuss, uh, there is some genius in that in my opinion. Uh, I absolutely enjoyed it. It's overall a very good cuss and the uniqueness of that freshness it's providing, it's amazing in my opinion. Now the last award is best overall curse. Uh, there are three nominees to it. The first one is Banka perfume. Like I said, it's overall a very good curse. There is no particular flaws which I see this with this particular uh, curse. The opening to dry down is very well in my opinion. The second uh, nominee is ML Ram Narayan. From presentation to the juice, it's absolutely brilliant, world class in my opinion. Uh, the, and the third nominee is Hassan Oud Khas. Uh, like same thing, presentation to the juice, it's amazing in my opinion. My award uh, goes to ML Ram Narayan Khas. I, I absolutely enjoyed this Khas. I actually enjoy all three, the, three of the Khas, uh, but ML Ram Narayan has got a bit of edge to all the Khas which I have tried. Uh, the only issue which I see with this particular Khas is uh, it is not sold uh, individually. You have to buy the whole set. Now, if that is an issue for you, then you can go with Hassan Oud Kuss. That's also a great Kuss in my opinion. Uh, you have to enjoy the mossiness and the jungle feeling it provides, the wild jungle feeling it provides. If that is not an issue for you, then you will absolutely enjoy Hassan Oud Kuss in my opinion. So guys, this is the overall video. This video took me a lot of time, a lot of testing. Uh, so if you have enjoyed the content I'm creating for you, please uh, look to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Cheers.